What's up everyone, the Sega Guru here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Wipeout for the Dreamcast. Now you're going to say, Wipeout never came out on the Dreamcast. Well, you'd technically be correct. That's right, the source material is indeed out there, and Mr. Neo 240 did indeed start to work on a port. Now we don't know whether this port will ever get completed, but you're probably going to say, well, what state is it in currently? Let's take a look. Now there are two versions of the build available for us to try today. Now the first build we're going to look at, I'm going to be honest, is not what you're going to be expecting. You're going to be expecting this thing to be looking and running flawlessly. Well, to be fair, for the first attempt, this actually doesn't run too badly as you'd expect, being that the game really hasn't had, you know, an enormous amount of time thrown at it. This was really the first build. Yes, there are two builds. This is the first one. You know, there are issues with things like the actual visuals. They're not 100%. Yes, you can see it's not running at 60 frames per second. And it's kind of buggy to the point where it's not unplayable. But yes, when it's jumping all over the place, it does feel, yes, a little bit unplayable. Let's now take a look at the uh, later build, shall we? The uh, one I think you're going to like. Automatically, you can see this is running so much better. The controls just work absolutely outstandingly. They're responsive. So obviously, I'm using the analog stick here. You can use a D-pad as well. But for me, the analog stick really is the way a game like this should be played. This is how you'd expect to see Wipeout working on the system. Now, yes, this all comes from the actual source code that was leaked. Uh, and is using assets from basically what I can only tell to be the MS-DOS version or the PC version. I could be wrong there, I could be wrong, but either way, you can't deny this is looking so damn good. Yes, like I said, there's visual issues, you know, textures aren't 100%, but this, you know, this hasn't had all the time spent on it, in other words, you know, Mr. Neo has a life outside of you know, working on Dreamcast stuff. It's his passion, don't get me wrong. But from what we've seen to start here, this is looking absolutely great. Don't get me wrong, will this get completed? Mr. Neo himself, he's not said, is not 100% sure at the moment. But hey, who knows? It'll be interesting to see if this does come to fruition, maybe just even with the sound added, because obviously sound really does slow down a lot of these ports. It is a bit of a memory hog. So, hey, is that why at the moment it's not there? I don't know. Let me know, though, what you do think of this version, because I'm, I gotta say, this, this port is looking great. It's running so well as well. It really, really is. As always, drop a comment, a like, and subscribe. If you are a Patreon member, thank you so much. Brand new Patreon member this week, Pizza Hotline, thank you so much. Now, so you can join Patreon from as little as $3 a month. Patreon.com forward slash the Sega Guru. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Shall signing out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. As well as that, you can also back the channel on Patreon. QR code is down below. But obviously you can check out this video. You can also check out that video. And on that note, it's Al signing out.